the recipe box is getting bigger and bigger. Delicious meals from great local chefs are in there. Yeah, today the newest addition comes from a local food writer who may not be classically trained, but she's been cooking much of her life, and she brings us tips on how to make a family favorite. Easy enchiladas, a money-saving meal everyone at the table can enjoy. Family-friendly food that's inexpensive, easy to make, and delicious. That's my kind of meal. We're back in Kristen King's Norfolk Kitchen. She's going to make some easy, tasty enchiladas for us. Thanks yes, for yeah. letting us back in here. No problem. Anytime. So this is one of your one of your favorite meals. Yes, absolutely. All right. So how do you start? So what we have here is shredded chicken. You can buy a rotisserie chicken from the store or just use leftovers. But it's about three cups of leftover shredded chicken. We're going to heat this up. And that you've got some olive oil in yep, the Yep, just a little right? olive oil. While that's heating up, we can actually get started on the enchilada sauce. And this is the store-bought enchilada sauce. We're going to put most of this in the bottom of our pan, and the rest we're going to heat up for the top. So about half of a 28-ounce can, that's usually what they come in. Okay. My spin on this is we are going to add sour cream to lighten up the topping. Sour cream can curdle when it's in the oven. So we are going to add flour to it to stabilize it. So you put the enchilada sauce on heat in the saucepan. Right. Um, you want to just warm the sauce through before you put this in. Okay. Because you just want to keep it as stable as possible so it doesn't curl. I don't use the taco packets, the taco seasoning. Really? What do you do with them? <laughs> I make my own. Oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> and you can make a big batch of it and just save yeah. it. So if you have taco night, you can... Then you'll have it you for know, later. You can okay, so you're going to show us what's in your taco exactly. seasoning, your own? Exactly. And this is all going to go into the chicken. Okay. And it's going to cook, and the flavors are going to release, and it's going to get all fragrant. Okay, very good. So what is in your hand? Chili powder onion powder, garlic powder, paprika with a little bit of cayenne for some heat, cumin for the smoky flavor, dry oregano, salt and pepper. And we just let that cook until it's combined. Now we're gonna add some chicken stock to it to make it a little juicier and give it some more flavor. And now my secret ingredient, cream cheese. And it kind of melts in and gets ooey gooey into the hole. And so you're just, you're just melting it in? Yep, basically. Now that our enchilada sauce is warm, we can add the stabilized sour cream in, and that can be our topping. So you're putting the, the mixture into your enchilada right. sauce? Okay. And it just kind of lightens it up and makes it more creamy. And that's pretty much done. And we can turn it off. Pour the rest of our enchilada sauce in the bottom of a, like a 9x9 nine nine glass dish. Just flour tortillas. So just put a dollop of yep. the chicken mixture in the middle? Yep. I mean, really, you can, you can pile it on as much as you want. Now we get to wrap and roll. Just roll it up like this. Place the seam side down. I kind of like to push the enchilada sauce, you know, kind of up in between them so we don't get dry and burned tortillas. And this is that sauce that we made that you yep. have the sour cream inside, right? Yep. Piece to resistance. <laughs> Cheese. This is Monterey Jack and cheddar. And then this goes into 375 oven for like 25 minutes until it's bubbly and the cheese is melted. Here's the chicken enchilada. This is the best part. <laughs> it really is. Sorry. You top it with sour cream. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. And as I've mentioned, Kristen King is a local food writer. We can link you to her blog at fox43tv.com. You can also find the entire recipe online. While you're there, check out our web exclusives, fox43tv.com. Just click on the News at 7 button. Karen?